Hello and welcome to a chip off the old block toys. This is Jeff here and today we're at the great train show in Salt Lake City. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a panoramic view and then we'll get to down to the nuts and bolts of uh, the display. If you would hit the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications and also leave me a comment below. Here's a bird's eye view of the uh, complete display. I'm going to go ahead and get down there and we'll start off on this over here with Statue of Liberty and just work our way around. Here's the front side of the mountain. It's hard to get the whole thing in there. It is really awesome. It does allow for train tracks and uh, road to go through it. It is modular. It does come apart in sections. Uh, here we have the crowdfunding Venetian housing sets. We've got the 50s diner. We've got chilies. And yes, I do know it's missing a chilies. Unfortunately, a couple shows ago that walked off. I'm not sure what happened to it. I'll have to rebuild that. And we've got some uh, track and you see, this time's unique. A lot of times, our shows, the stuff against the plexiglass is just plain, um, like green or uh, gray mills plates. And I, I suggested this time that we don't we use that space. Since we don't like to have trains running up against the plexi, we put some stationary uh, trains here, and it allows us to display more here and get more Lego out. And so we've got the corner garage which is modified it's two sets we've got a library we've got an animal hospital uh, an Asian restaurant a pet shop and we've got the town hall the police station the sanctum sanctorium and we also have the daily bugle back there and the green grocer and the Grand Lion Hotel and I did not have time to do an update video on that, but uh, as you can see, the second level is complete. Um, I did that, actually finished it the day of the show. So uh, that's why I didn't do a video on it. And our next big show is June, and my goal is to have um, the third level complete at least. Maybe even the fourth. We'll see which kind of time I've got. And here is the train engine shed that I did two videos on. And it's right up against the glass where things are stationary. And we've got two assembly squares there. And we've got the bookshop. We've got um, two boutique motels and the corner cafe. It is actually only one set. I did not buy a second one. I sourced the pieces through BrickLink in my private collection. got a brick bank there, another Lego hotel, the Parisian restaurant, pet shop, and this is new to our display. This is the zoo, built by Brent. It's got a stage there for um, uh, folks on that there, with some speakers and stuff, and we got a polar bear thing, and that polar bear is supposed to be sleeping on purpose. It's not, it's not a mishap. We got some Muppets over here some swan boats. We did not continue the city. We've got some Mickey and Minnie Mouse, which is most popular with the kids. And then we've got a from Austin Powers, a Shagwar, and we've got a Ninja Turtles uh, hat out there with some flowers. Disney train and station. And we do have a way over there. It's hard to get to. We've got the front runner, which is a local favorite here in Utah. We've got one of the old Pullman cars here that are no longer used. But that wraps it up for uh, this show. Like I said, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and leave me a comment below. And our next show that we know of, as of right now, is going to be in June in Ely, Nevada.